what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. Samsung has just released its high-end Galaxy S23 FE, a more affordable alternative to its flagships. But at the same time, the Galaxy S23 itself is not a huge drain on the wallet and brings some higher tier features. So which one is actually the better choice to get these days? Let's put these two phones head to head and find out. The vanilla Galaxy S23 came out nearly a year ago, in February 2023, but as a flagship, it's still quite relevant. Meanwhile, we've gotten our hands on the S23 FE just recently. Its features are actually a bit more outdated, but the phone comes at a lower price. Looks-wise, the two devices are quite similar, with nearly identical designs. You get flat, Gorilla Glass back panels, separated camera rings, and an aluminum frame. But compared to the compact S23, the S23 FE is noticeably larger. It's actually the same size as the S23 Plus, and even heavier. It's worth noting that you get different glass on the two phones. The FE uses Gorilla Glass 5, while the Galaxy S23 has Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Both phones have the same ingress protection though, and are IP68 rated against water and dust. On either phone, you'll find an AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. The S23 FE's is larger at 6.4 inches versus 6.1. Another difference is that the Galaxy S23 FE has noticeably thicker bezels, which makes for a less premium look. But regardless, both phones' screens are great. They have accurate color calibration and support HDR10 Plus video content. There is a difference when it comes to max brightness, but it's not huge. The Galaxy S23 is the brighter one, able to boost up to 1200 nits. The S23 FE can get up to around 1000 nits. The vanilla Galaxy S23 is also the one with a more adaptive screen, which could save a bit of energy. While the S23 FE can go down from 120Hz to 60Hz when idling, the S23 can go all the way down to 24Hz, depending on what you're doing. You'll find an under-display fingerprint reader on both phones, but the S23 FE's is optical, while the S23's is ultrasonic, and maybe a bit more responsive. Both phones have stereo speakers, and offer nicely rich and deep audio quality. The S23 FE is the louder one though, scoring very good on our charts, versus just good on the S23. You can hear for yourself with the provided link. As you'd expect, since both the Galaxy S23 and S23 FE come from Samsung, they bring the same software package, which at the moment is One UI 5.1 running over Android 13. We expect updates to the UI and the Android versions pretty soon though. If you want to learn more about One UI 5's specific features, you can check out our dedicated video. Maybe the biggest difference between the two phones is the chipset. The Galaxy S23 is powered by the most powerful Android chip on the market right now, the overclocked Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. The S23 FE, on the other hand, brings an older chipset for the sake of cutting costs. Depending on the market, you'll get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or an Exynos 2200, both of which were found within last year's Galaxy S22 series. As a result, the Galaxy S23 FE is inferior to the Galaxy S23 when it comes to chipset performance. And it's not just the raw benchmark scores, but also the thermal management. You may not feel a difference in your day-to-day -day tasks, but gamers would definitely prefer the S23. Another benefit of the S23's chipset is that it's much more power efficient than the S23 FE's. Even though the S23 FE has the larger battery capacity at 4500 mAh, it performed worse than the S23 across nearly all of our active battery tests. It earned an overall active use score of 9 hours and 45 minutes, as opposed to 11 hours and 27 minutes on the S23. The Galaxy S23 and S23 FE support 25 watt wired charging. Despite the differences in battery capacity, they recharge equally fast, going from 0 to 57 or 58% in half an hour. Both phones support wireless charging and reverse wireless charging too. Now we have the cameras, which are very similar. Both galaxies have the same 50 megapixel main cam and a similar 12 megapixel ultra wide. The difference is in the zoom camera. While both phones have a 3x telephoto zoom, the Galaxy S23's is 10 megapixels, while the S23 FE's is 8 megapixels. Daylight photos from the main cameras are equally great, with plenty of resolved detail, high contrast, and wide dynamic range. You get Samsung's vibrant color science, too. The same goes for the ultra-wide cameras. The results are very similar between the two phones. There is a lot of resolved detail, low noise, and an impressively wide field of view. 
The zoomed photos are slightly different though. Both phones upscale the output of their telephotos to 12 megapixels. As a result, the images from the S23 are a bit sharper, as it's going from 10 megapixels to 12, whereas the S23 FE must upscale from 8 megapixels to 12. In low light, with the automatic night mode in effect, both the Galaxy S23 and S23 FE produce basically identical photos, regardless of the camera you're using. There are some minute differences in the levels of noise and the overall sharpness, but for all intents and purposes, these are equal. The Galaxy S23 can record videos from the main cam in 8K at 30fps, while the S23 FE can capture 8K but at 24fps. Whether it's in 8K or in 4K, the daylight videos from both phones are similarly great. But at night, the Galaxy S23 has a minor edge over the S23 FE when it comes to noise reduction. The Galaxy S23 has a 12 megapixel selfie camera with autofocus, while the FE model has a 10 megapixel one with fixed focus. The selfies from the Galaxy S23 do have a bit more detail. It's a minor difference, but it's there. And here's a look at the 4K selfie video between the two phones. So there you have it guys, the new, more affordable Galaxy S23 FE versus the tried and true Galaxy S23. With the S23 FE, you get a larger screen, louder speakers, and of course, the lower price. However, the S23 brings plenty of advantages. It has a more compact and sturdy build, a better chipset and battery life, and nicer zoomed photos and selfies. In the end, while the S23 FE is a decent phone, its shortcomings compared to the flagship S23 make it tougher to recommend unless you're looking for those savings. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.